do you want to learn how to choose and prepare the best paper for Islamic illumination? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do so and I will share with you lots of tips and techniques of doing it. My name is Shiva and this is Learning Tassif channel. I'm making videos about learning Islamic illumination or Tashib. So please subscribe if you are interested. As you all know, Tassib artworks are mostly on paper and we need to prepare it first. It is better to mention here. There are many ways to prepare your paper. For example, sometimes you need to fix your paper on a wooden surface before seizing it. But in this video, I try to show the best and easiest way for cotton papers. You can choose between many different papers in the shops, but you need to consider some aspects. Firstly, you need to have a smooth layer. So you should choose papers which are for uh, watercolor, airbrush or ink. The best options for me are Kansan, Fabriano or Hanimula papers. Second is GSM. Paper weight or density is measured in GSM which stands for grams per square meter. And this refers to how much the paper weighs. The higher the GSM, the heavier and generally the better quality the paper. 150 GSM is a good choice for us, but it is better you try heavier and lighter ones as well. Third, the texture. Cotton paper is made using cotton and it is good for tassip because it is known to last many years without deterioration. Mostly they are acid free and if they get wet they dry without wrinkling. Don't forget to choose a paper bigger than the size you need for your art. Pour boiling water over two or three tea bags. The darker you want to have uh, your papers the more tea bags you should use i want to have a light cream color with them then you need to wait for about an hour until your tea has color or you can boil your tea bags and have a faster result the important step is you need to put your papers in the cold water at first this makes your job easier to have an even surface of color Make sure the whole paper gets wet. Don't worry, you are not damaging the paper, especially if you choose cotton papers. Then make sure your tea is cold as well. Hot tea will damage your paper's texture. Pour your tea into the tray and start to put your papers inside it. The final color depends on your paper's texture and the time that you put it inside the tea. I mean, the more your papers stay inside the tea, the darker it will be. If your paper is bigger than the tray, like mine, make sure to put each part in equal time with the other parts. For example, you can put one side and cut count to five, then put the other side and count to five. If you don't make your papers wet in the first place, it would be so hard to have even colors on the whole paper. In the next step, you need uh, these tools to seize your dried stained paper with some layers of corn stretch. To prepare your uh, stretch, please choose a cup and you need to add one cup of corn stretch and one cup of cold water and mix them properly together inside the pot and then add about seven more cups of water to it. Uh, the amount of water depends on the stretch. If your stretch is not fresh, it would uh, need more water. So I add one cup of corn stretch and 8 cups of cold water. You can use wheat stretch as well. Now you need to put it on medium level heat of your stove and you should mix it constantly until it gets like jelly and thick. 
It took about half an hour for me. You can see my stretch texture here. If you overheat it, it would be so dense and you can easily add some more cold water and stir it again. You need to practice to find the best density when you are an amateur. All you need is just practicing. If you adopt the density, you, uh, it is better to go with water choice uh, and add more layers. It is better than one heavy layer. Now you should wait until it gets cold, then separate the surface or it is better to sieve it using a um, tight kitchen tape. Uh, make sure there are no glumps in it. Use a roller or a wide soft brush and apply it to your papers. You need to repeat this uh, three, four times and do it in different directions. You should wait until the last layer gets dry before applying a new layer. Ahar has two advantages for us. It gives us a very smooth layer to outline and paint and it works as glue to our gold and colors and it helps to have a durable artwork. Okay, one more important tip here. Look at the surface of my paper. Can you see the unevenness on my stretch layer while applying it? It means my stretch is so dense and heavy that I need to make it watery with the technique that I told you about while making it. When your papers are almost dried, put them under weight. You can use lots of heavy books for this purpose and wait for about 12 hours. Next step is burnishing your paper. You should burnish your paper in less than one day after seizing it. If you wait for more, than, for more time than this, burnishing will not work well. You should burnish it with an agate burnisher or any other round stones which is not scratching your paper. Make sure it is clean. The reason to burnish is to close up some of the pores of paper and have a very smooth layer in which you can outline easily with ink. Don't worry about the edges of your paper. You can easily cut them before using it. It is better to put your paper on top of a wooden surface and burnish it in different direction to make sure you are burnishing the whole surface of your paper. Mostly, we stick this prepared paper on a thicker paper to prevent wrinkling during work. I'm gonna teach this to you on the next videos. Please subscribe and if you have any questions about paper preparing, put them in the comments below. You can feel how smooth your paper is by touching it.